I'm the Director of Enterprise Systems at Growmark, which is a regionally affiliated co-op based in Bloomington, Illinois. Our teams manage the infrastructure, the foundations that the business runs on. So everything from networking to security, all the compute and storage that we do, both on-prem and in the cloud. We have a platform still at the corporate data center that we have a number of things running. We have a number of things in different cloud environments, primarily AWS and then of course in SAP's environment. So, but that entire suite literally is hundreds of apps. Um, our um, company has um, a number of lines of business and each one of them have their own individual uh, you know, profiles and stacks that they, they interact with. We um, had an existing solution for our mobile users, our laptop users, and it wasn't um, as easy to use and um, the user experience was not very good. So we were evaluating options and um, we knew that Zscaler had a uh, more seamless experience than what we had seen. And so that was really the first use case was for those laptop users. And then when we realized what you had done with ZPA, we took that to the next level to actually leverage it for remote access. We saw other vendors talking about the model of cloud-based um, functionality, but a lot of it seemed to be bolt-on or an acquisition that they were trying to bring into the rest of their legacy stack. Um, so they didn't have a very cohesive story and the performance wasn't um, as good. So we were leery of going down that path. We thought we might uh, waste too much time trying to live through their growing pains when we knew what Zscaler had gone through as a cloud native platform had solved a lot of those things. So we thought it would be a lot faster process for us. We had an in-house ERP system that was developed on Oracle um, over 20 years ago that's ran the business for years very well, um, but it wasn't going to scale past uh, where we had gotten to and, and we needed to make a decision on, on what that future looked like. And SAP was the winner in that, that uh, evaluation, so we have worked with SAP closely to deploy SAP. We're about 80% through the process and have worked with them both from the integration point of view and the hosting. Um, and right now, we, we had already had a large AWS um, environment that we worked with on some other platforms and have been in the process of moving our SAP environment to AWS. Um, ZPA gives us the flexibility to terminate those users wherever we need to, both from a production environment point of view, but as well as disaster recovery. So in our strategy, we can run in one region in AWS, but then fail over to a completely different region and have those users connect seamlessly just by a policy change. For ZPA specifically, we um, bring our users back into our corporate environment so they can access both kind of the traditional legacy application stack that we have deployed as well as our new SAP environment that we're deploying. So it's the full suite of what they would see at the corporate office. That seamlessness, that lack of friction um, to keep a user productive, to keep security out of their face at the same time providing them a better model um, is really, really valuable. A lot of times IT is associated with uh, maybe painful change, but this is a change that's been very well received. We have a lot of users who've told us that they, they really, truly love it. We're big believers in the zero trust model. Just due to the nature of the threat environment out there, we um, are gonna take every step we, we can to isolate what amounts to the, the, the jewels of the, the kingdom and um, give the user the access they need, enable them to do their job and, and future uh, jobs, but at the same time, um, gives ourselves very fine-grained visibility into what's going on and also keep unknowns at, at arm's length, where we both get a better security model, um, but we also get a better user experience. And you don't get too many of those sometimes with IT traditionally in the enterprise. So again, if we can enable our users to work from anywhere securely and to meet our security uh, model goals, uh, we just consider it a win all around.